And this next guest made history as the first woman of color ever to travel to space in 1992. Dr. Mae Jemison spent eight days in orbit and carried out, check this out, 44 science experiments with her crewmates. She has since dedicated her life to advancing science, technology, and education. And she joins us this morning. Good morning. Good Doc. morning. Good morning. <laughs> so how did your first space mission change you personally? So it's always hard to say that because I think being an astronaut, a career astronaut, changes things. So even though I was a chemical engineer and a medical doctor and had a lot of experience in science and technology, the scale of space travel is very different. The accuracy, the precision with which you have to do things. So just all that learning and training made a big difference to me. Going up in space, it was... Believe it or not, I felt more connected with the rest of the universe. My connection wasn't back down here to Earth. Mm. It was with the rest of the universe. And sometimes people say, uh, seeing the Earth makes you feel small. But it didn't make me feel small. It mm. made me feel bigger because mm. I was connected to something that was so much bigger mm. than where we think we are. There was one other thing that happened. Mm. You know how people always say, and save the Earth? Mm -hmm. The Earth will be here, oh. but we might not. Mm -hmm. See, there's a difference. Because of how we're treating it. Right. Yeah, because, well, it doesn't, uh, sh no longer has an atmosphere that supports our life form. So I think that perspective was really important, too, because we get so human-centric that sure. we forget that we're part of this greater universe. So one of the things we talked about yesterday when we were preparing to speak with you live on the air is uh, the importance of space travel mm. and the importance of the work that astronauts do when they are in space. You heard Amanda Wynn uh, tell me in the interview that she's conducting science experiments on this uh, voyage, which I don't think a lot of people knew. Right. They thought it was just six women going up into space for joyriding. Wait, in what do you mean just six women? It, well, that's what I mean. That it's, was the criticism. It's six women. That's right. Right, exactly. right, right. right. But he's, he's speaking. <laughs> Speaking to the perspective and, and some of the narratives, the, the that, narratives are out there. that are out there that I yeah, was exactly. hoping to correct with this interview. And I'm glad that you're here <laughs> to help me correct that narrative. Um, so explain to our audience why even a trip like this one, all the trips that we take in the space yeah. benefit mankind. Uh, so it benefits humankind. And I'm going to keep correcting humankind. the I'm mankind sorry. Sorry. and the man-made and the man missions because this is exactly what this mission is about, is expanding the perspective of who does space. Why is space important? Um, when you just look at it, um, when you go up, you get a perspective on this world that you can't get from looking uh, down on the ground and you can get it much faster. So whether it's looking at roads, mapping, whether it's looking at weather formations, yeah. we use space every day, right? Mm -hmm. With our cell phones. We, I live in Houston, Texas. We like weather satellites, right? <laughs> because right. all of those things are happening and people sometimes forget that. From materials to the accuracy that I was talking about before with the precision of the engineering, the safety, it permeates our wow. world in yeah. ways that we don't, that we don't realize, uh, realize yeah. every day. Yeah, and th those are great reminders. And you're going to be sticking around uh, throughout the morning. Yes. And we do appreciate you for that, uh, Dr. May Jemison. Thank you so much.